So here we are, we've got another turning point brew. Um, this one is, is Wavelength. So Wavelength is a, it's another IPA um, and it's Mosaic hops. So Mosaic is a, a variety of hop that was developed from Simcoe over in the US. Um, and it's it's become quite a, a popular hop in, in craft brewing. Um, it's it's sort of characterised as, as being quite a fruity hop. I think blueberry is one of the flavours that you are familiar associated with it. Um, but the other um, flavour that you, you, you get with it is sort of a pine piney sort of flavour. It, it's that very aromatic flavour. Um, so what Turning Point have done with this is that they've, they've hopped the brew with mosaic and then they've added some more mosaic later on in the brew. Um, so what I'm expecting from this is, is quite a lot of um, sort of berry sort of flavours to it and uh, let's look out for that sort of pine flavour to it as well. Um, strength wise it's not the strongest of beers, it's 4.5% it's ABV, um, it, it doesn't come uh, high up on the, the the list of strengths that that turning point uh, turn out, but it's it's more of sort of a session IPA. So uh, pour a glass of it out and let's give it a go. So the first thing I'm noticing is I'm pouring it out. This one's quite clear. Um, it it doesn't have that immense cloudiness that you get with some of the other American style IPAs. Um, but then again, having said that, looking at it, it's yeah. There's a little bit of a haze to it, um, but it's it, it's not a cloudy beer um, in, in the way that some of the others that we've tried are. So the, the first thing that you get from it on the nose, um, it's quite floral. Uh, there's a definite sort of floral hop character to it. Um, and, and that's what you would come to expect from a, a, a mosaic hopped beer. So we'll give it a go. So, yeah, um, in contrast to some of the other beers that we've tried recently, it's, it's, it's a more astringent sort of flavour. Are you growling at? You're not having any beer, mate. Sorry, the, the, the dog's giving it a bit of... Uh, it's, it's late at night and he gets quite grumpy. Um, but, yeah, and if you put your feet anywhere near him, he, he growls. It's a terrier thing, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, back to the beer. So, um it's quite a pale beer, so there's quite a you know the, the pale malt used in the brewing of it. Um, then the, the the mosaic hops used in the boil, and then some mosaic hops used in later in the, the later hopping of the beer. Um, it does have that sort of resiny flavour to it. It's there's there's a, a very definite resin character to it. Um, I think pine would describe it quite well. Um, a bit sort of Christmas tree flavour really. Um, it's quite odd describing a beer having a Christmas tree flavour, isn't it? Um, but yeah, it's it doesn't have that in your face fruitiness of some of the other American hops that you get. It, it's not, you know, if, if you're looking at hops like CTZ, the Zeus hops um, and Citra and, and things like that, you, you're looking at that immensely Sort of pineapple mango type flavour to it. There's none of that at all. It's 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 a I'd, I'd be hard pushed to say that there's a berry texture to it. It's not. It's 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 got a it's it's slightly floral, um, but it, it's 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 a it's a rounded bitterness. It's got that very definite sort of yeah, there's a there's a pine needle flavour to it. It it does have a pine character to it. Um, so there we are. That's uh, that's wavelength. That's that's mosaic. Um, that that's the predominant hop in this beer. Um, it's double hopped, um, as they say. Uh, the, you know, as the brewery themselves have said they, they've they've added mosaic in the boil, and then just to give it that extra little kick, they've added more mosaic um, late, later on in the brewing process. Um, and it's it's a very very drinkable beer. And the dog's still growling for God knows what reason. Hey, well, there we go. So, cheers. Um, another brew from Turning Point. Um, and we'll shortly be looking at some other breweries in the North Yorkshire area. And we'll start looking a little bit further afield shortly as well. Cheers.